Nityananda. My name is Lin. I'm currently in Sweden uh, at home. My guru Paramahamsa Nityananda is the living avatar, the reincarnation of Shiva. Now I want to share some conversations I have had with people when I do coursing. The most, uh, it is about how life uh, is happening, like the mechanic of, uh, of us being creators of our realities. Uh, for example, uh, I'm uh, asked why this kind of man appear in my life. Like I'm always cheated badly by them and uh, they don't really take me seriously and they betray me. Or uh, why money seems to come and go and once I get it and then they disappear immediately also. Uh, or like, um, do you, can you tell me if my business will uh, take off? Like. When will uh, I really like generate profits uh, from my business or like um, why uh, I get more and more workload from my job uh, and um, I don't get more paid, etc, uh, etc. Et All these questions that we face uh, during our daily lives. The point uh, I want to uh, share is that uh, we have to understand how life happens, the mechanic uh, of us being creators. The inner space within us is the fundamental creator of our external reality. So whatever cognition we have deeply inside us have to be manifested. Life doesn't judge if we have a good cognition or bad cognition, no. Whatever we carry inside, we believe, we, we um, strongly desire, will be manifested from uh, as our, as our outer reality. So it's not what we say, but really what we desire, we believe from the bottom of our stomach. Uh, so even if I can say that I want to earn more money, I want a better relationship, but deeply inside I feel, oh, I, I don't feel I deserve that much money. Uh, I feel poor or I feel I'm not worth a love. Like I feel people might uh, like treat me badly. I don't have insecurity when I'm in relationships. And those cognitions are really the manifestors of our reality. So there's nothing that life forces on us. There's a, there's a reason why things happen. If something is going wrong from outside, please just take a look from the inside world. Why we let things like that happen to us? So the reason is always from inside. If we uh, keep on analyzing why things are happening and we wonder how uh, can uh, we can solve things by doing things, um, then we are uh, not really understanding the mechanic, right? So only from the inner space, we find the answer. For example, uh, if a, um, for that person who asked me why I'm getting more workload and not well paid, I read his mind. The cognition is like, uh, I don't like this job. It's like really tedious and tiring and I'm not treated like uh, as I am uh, I should be. Uh, I feel like a slave. Of course, that situation is manifested because life doesn't judge. Whatever we want, we ask. Life will give us. And this lady, for example, uh, who's not having really found any stable relationships yet. Her cognition for love is like, oh, love is um, untrustworthy. Like whatever relationship I'm in, I just feel like being a victim. Like the victim um, cognition uh, in relationship, it, she carries so much and that's why she she manifests those men in, in her life. Uh, mm, making like giving you more uh, detailed example like how uh, the vibration we have the cognition we have like could be manifested immediately in life uh, it's not only on the human level it's even like uh, the animate objects like the other day i had this incompletion about this work i had uh, that was an excel uh, sheet I just can't log in. Somehow I just can't log in. I realized like I was scanning myself. I thought, oh my God, it's because I don't like this shit, this Excel shit. And I don't want to like, 
I, I don't want to open it. That's why it just won't open. It doesn't matter how much I try. Uh, so uh, as soon as I dropped this cognition, um, I went in. The problem was solved. So that was how life supports us. Even in that small detail, life is manifested exactly as how we want. So by knowing this, we understand why people would pick on us, like say bad things to us. If we sit there with this vibration, oh, I don't like people, like I, they are so annoying, I hate them, they are so loud, uh, and I feel bothered, and uh, I, yeah, all those, those thought currents would be picked up by those people. Swamiji said, it's not an empty space between people. It is liquid. We are all connected. When we vibrate certain <laughs> cognitions, those cognitions will be caught by people and they will behave in that way. Life will uh, make sure that those desires are fulfilled. Like, oh, I want an argument. Oh, I want people to treat me badly. Seriously, so when we realize how we create life, just go inside to find the answer for everything. If you wonder how the company will take off and if it will be successful, just go inside and ask yourself how you see it. Can you see that happening to you? And then it has to manifest. If you have incompletion <laughs> towards your business or relationship or money, that will be your uh, reality also. So stop complaining that life don't treat you well. Life doesn't support you. Life gives us whatever, everything we want. Life is the best friends of us. So for, by looking inside and clean all the negative cognitions and replace them with positive uh, cognitions, we will change our situations immediately. Life has to give us whatever we desire. So that is what I want to share today. Nityananda.